Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a matte look I think. Something kind of simple, nothing too major um, because yeah I just need to get content out. So if you guys are new here make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe but only if you want to be here you know that's our rule only if you want to be here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Whenever I do my brows I always set them with like just a little bit of powder. Um, I think it kind of helps the eyeliner show up easier and it just kind of glides but then also I am extremely oily so it definitely helps with the oil in my skin um, but if you don't want to you don't have to do that just something that I do that helps me if you guys are not new here then you guys know that I take um, some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer I love this concealer I use this under my brow simply because it's just so much easier to uh, maneuver I find that with the creams they're a little bit harder to maneuver so I like to use a liquid um, to just kind of get off up in there so there's that but I know what you guys want to know the follow-up from the last video or the video before the last one um, did I go back out with old boy and the answer is no I did not I listened to you guys you know could I have used another cash app? Absolutely. But I listened to you guys and I did not go. Um, I just kind of maneuvered my way up out of there by just blocking him. I didn't say anything. Listen, I don't have time for the back and forth transaction. You will know when you cannot get a hold of me. Um, there were also like some other red flags that I did not mention in the other video. And I feel like the red flags that I mentioned was enough for you guys to catch on like uh yeah you probably shouldn't be dating him so i did not go back out with him you know my love life is just what it is at this point so i know you guys are probably wondering like have you been out on any other dates no girl i've literally just been focused on me and having fun with myself i feel like you know with me having children at a young age i didn't really get to experience a lot um of things for myself like and I think that's where I am. Like, you know how like people in their um, 20s and stuff like that, they are out here, you know, living life, they're experiencing life. I told my friend this, her um, her daughter, I told her friend, my daughter's friend this. I was like, listen, in your 20s, I feel like that is the time that you need to be living life, traveling, enjoying yourself, being who you want to be, you know, coloring your hair, experimenting with piercings and stuff. Because once you hit like a certain age, yeah, you're judged in your 20s, but like once you hit 30s and up, especially in corporate America, you are judged 10 times harder. So I was telling her, like, if you want to dye your hair, if you want to get a couple piercings, girl, get that out your system now in your 20s. Because when you get to 30 and you really in corporate America, baby, the judgment is, is so high. It's so high. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of my bronzer duo, um, the top shade, this little brown right here. And my, this is going to be my transition color. And... Yeah, be resourceful, you know? Use what you got. If you ain't got a lot, just use what you got. Things could be multi-purpose, honey. Um, but yeah, I felt like in my 20s, because I was pregnant at 19, I missed out on so much. Um, you know, the club and the party and the enjoying just your 20s and, and learning who you are. There was a meeting at my job. There's always these at my job, but um, the question, we were doing icebreakers, and the question was, are, what do you like to do for fun? And, you know, what is your favorite song and stuff? Of course, I can't say none of my trap music, because uh, Rich Baby Daddy Gang by Drake, baby, that's my shit currently. But, couldn't say that. But when they asked me what it was I like to do, I found myself thinking of things that I do with my children, you know, because that's what they like to do. And it, and it just really hit me very hard, like, girl... You don't even know what the fuck you like to do anymore. That is not good. That's not good. The fact that you don't even know what it is that you like. You haven't spent enough time with yourself to understand what it is you like. That's crazy. I find myself at a place that when, like my friend does it, I told you that she does it all the time. You should be in a relationship. You should be with such and such. And it's, it's like I find myself at a place where I don't want to be in a relationship right now because I am enjoying myself. You know, um, and then in talking to her too, you know, I think that it depends because if you're a full time parent, being a full time parent, like I'm talking about really being a full time parent, 365, you don't have no place to drop your kids off. You know, the grandmama is not involved. Your auntie, uncles is not involved, stuff like that. So you're always with your children. 
you start to enjoy time by yourself and then thinking of me having to devote my time to somebody else it's just it's not something that seems to be ideal for me in this moment I really just want to enjoy me and I think dating like although I'm not opposed to it girl I'm still going to date because we still want to get that bag regardless we're going to get that bag just right now where I'm at me taking somebody serious that's gonna that's gonna be some time and, and and speaking with her the other day I had to let her know like girl I'm okay I don't know why you feel like I'd be at home in the fetal position crying because I'm lonely girl I am fine if I go today God forbid let me knock on some wood bitch but if I go today I'm okay with being by myself you know like I don't I don't feel the sensation to want to be with somebody just to be with them. That's not me and it never will be. And my tolerance for BS is at a all time low, honey. Like all time low. I, um, we went out to lunch the other day and there were some guys that were sitting next to us. I, I don't know, something about being my age and I think just being around the block sometimes, like I know when niggas ain't on shit and ain't never gonna be on shit and I don't even look that way, but the, the girl that I was with is a younger uh, woman, and she just became so enamored by these men. Now I had told her, I'm, oh, let me make sure I tell the story right, hang on. <laughs> a little bit of my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair Warm. You guys know I use this shade to cut my crease um, because I'm going to do a matte look today. I think I'm going to add just like a little bit of color maybe to the inner corner, but for the most part, this is going to be a matte look. So anyway, the guys finally look over and they like, you know, do you work out here? And what do you guys do for a living? I don't mind telling people what I do for a living. I just don't get on the internet and, and share it, but I don't mind telling it like if I'm out in public. So I tell them what I do for a living. And so then my question to them is, what do you guys do? As Soon as I said that, there was a gentleman sitting here and there was another guy sitting next to him. The guy sitting next to him begins to smile ear from ear. That let me know everything I needed to know. The fact that you can't even tell me what you do for a living, nigga, you scamming, right? So I flat out asked because y'all know I'm direct. So I was like, are y'all scamming? They like, no, what? No, never. So I'm like, okay, what is it that you do? This man tells me I'm in real estate. I own a couple of businesses. I'm getting ready to write a book. I'm a bestseller. All, all this shit, right? So then I asked him, like, how old are you? He's like 41. So I'm like, you can't tell me your exact field of work, but you've named like six different things that you fucking do. I'm in construction. I'm in real estate. I do this. Prime example. So I completely tune out and get on my phone because, baby, whatever y'all motherfucking talk about, you scamming, right? I can just tell, right? You, that was the first red flag. Okay, so I'm taking some of the Chick Happens. Um, it's in the Morphe palette, and I'm applying this all over the lid. But anyway... So like I said, he couldn't tell me exactly what he did for a living. So then he's like, the girl next to me is super excited. I don't know. Listen, you can always tell when people have not had attention all their lives because they act very excited to get attention. And that's one thing I cannot stand. Even if you've never had a man talk to you ever in life, you cannot let that man know that he was the first man to ever speak to you because they will take advantage. I hate to say that, but they will take advantage. Just like when you're going out to a restaurant, although this restaurant may be beautiful and you've never seen anything like that before, baby, I need you to act like you, you've been to 10 million places in Dubai, okay? Girl, you are well-versed. Don't you ever act like that. So she's acting, oh my gosh, and... And you know, that's another thing too. Black people, like black people, some of us prey on that. Like I used to, in the beginning of like doing makeup and stuff, I used to always look out for black businesses. But then niggas start preying on that. Like, oh, I'm a black business owner. So let me reach out to you to see if you can do this shit for free. You know, and never just want to compensate you. All skin folk is not kin folk. And you need to freaking remember that. I'm going in with like just a hint of um, this color right here out of the Juvia's Place palette because I think I'm going to add just like a little pop a color to my inner corner but we'll see um but yeah so she's acting all elated and just really you know well, let's exchange numbers and da 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 so he's like well can I get your number talking to me and I'm like you know listen I I know how people can be with rejection so me giving you my number is not really a big deal bitch I will block you later y'all know this so I give him my number and this man texts me and says this is Bobo so first, you couldn't tell me what your occupation was. And then number two, 
You you giving me nicknames, bitch? Bobo? What the 41 year old man is going by the name of fucking Bobo? Okay, then I think I can't find my other palette. I would really like to add like some purple into the inner corner. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna come out purple. I don't think that is. I think that's gonna come out like too shimmery. Like I wanted to add like a purple or pink to the inner corner, but these all look purple and pink, so hang on. I freaking had a pink palette around here. I don't feel like searching for it, y'all, so I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place palette. I go back and forth between palettes a lot. This right here is the shade Fake. I'm a little bit nervous to use this because depending on the light, sometimes it looks green, and then sometimes it looks pink. So I am, I don't know, today is showing up pink. I don't know, but I'm just gonna put that off into the inner corners to just make them pop just like a little bit, you know, just to add that inner corner hot light. But anyway, he introduces himself as Bobo. And I told the young lady when we were coming out, now this is the same young lady who feel like I am Oh, She called me old, she's 27, something like that, around that age. But she called me old and I was like, okay girl. Um, but as we're coming out of the restaurant, I'm telling her, I'm like, baby, they're scammers. They're scammers, right? She's like, no, I just, I really want to support black businesses and stuff. There are so many different black businesses that you can support outside of that. I'm telling you, them, pay, them fools, it's scammers, right? But I'm like, I'm not one to sit here and try to convince you of nothing. I know what I know. I blocked the man's number and never talked to him again, right? So I meet up with her on a different day and she goes, you must have a strong relationship with Jesus. So I'm like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yes, my relationship with Jesus is very strong, but what the fuck are you talking about, right? And she says, I talked to them on the phone. Well, she talked to one of the guys on the phone. I talked to them on the phone, girl, and you were absolutely right. Hmm. But I'm old, right? Like, I ain't been around the block. Like, it seems like you're a little gullible to me, but I'm old. I'm the old one. That was a little bit of milk primer. I'm now going to go in with my NARS. Y'all know. This one is the soft matte for anybody that is wondering. All I use is the soft matte. I don't use the other one because your girl is oily. But anyway, um, she's like, yeah, I got him on the phone. And immediately, as soon as he got me on the phone, he started talking about he had been in jail for 10 years and he was just trying to get his life on track. This time I'm looking at her because, <laughs> girl, y'all going to learn to listen. You know what? And I feel like at that age, I was probably like, nah. I just told y'all I'm a lesbian. I was telling that lady who was telling me that we're all prostitutes. I was like, girl, I'm not a prostitute. You're not really listening to what the old people are saying. So if that made me old, auntie age, I'm a damn auntie. But I'm, I'm telling you what the fuck I know. I can spot them bitches a mile away, right? So she was like, yeah, he was telling me he spent 10 years in jail and he just, girl, he needed a place to fucking stay. And you, as much as people be like, oh my goodness, are you be having that resting bitch face? And I'd be like, no, I, I don't. But I'd be so thankful that my face lets you know and my spirit illuminates. Bitch, don't come over here with that fucking dumb shit because I'm not going to go for it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to clock your teeth every single fucking time. So they knew not to even play with me. He he knew not to play with me, but for you, because you were so interested in, in oh my gosh, and I'm I want to support black people and everything like that. He knew that he could play on that. And that's why I say that, that don't that don't just apply to business, that applies to everything in life. Stop making yourself so damn gullible and available that people prey on that, especially when you're dating. I'm gonna relate this back to fucking dating because I felt like she was interested in finding a man but when you are dating girl stop making yourself so available that is something that i too had to learn you know what i'm saying the more that you make yourself available to these men the more that they're going to pray and and plot on that bullshit they can feel your energy and they can see it so when my friend be like oh my goodness i just want you to meet somebody and be with somebody i am so thankful that men don't even play with me like that Whatever it is about my energy keeps that bullshit away from me. Niggas playing with me. Um, you got five different baby mamas. It's, it's 15 different girls. You got me in rotation. I am so happy that whatever energy I am exuding tells you to stay the fuck away from me. Because you know. Jesus, no. Jesus, no. I've been caught a fucking case by niggas playing with me. I don't want to be in jail. I don't want to. 
I don't want that for my life. So I am so thankful that that is what, what's exuding for me. And if that means I will never have nobody, baby, let me not have nobody. Because what I don't want is to be in a fucking relationship with somebody. And I got to deal with that. <laughs> my mental is not strong enough to deal with that shit. If yours is, by all means, please. But let a nigga come over here that got some motherfucking sense. What did my dude Bryson say? Girl, you only fucked you over because you let him. Stop letting these men play with y'all. Please, stand the fuck up. Damn, I be going so much better for y'all. And then y'all just sit here and waste y'all time and then be sad when the shit don't work out. Like, ma'am, clock it for what it is. Quit lying to yourself. Oh my goodness, this lady on uh, TikTok, she said she was talking to her best friend, her god best friend, right? And then speaking with her god best friend, I think they were talking about something. I can't remember what they were talking about. But the god best friend made mention that he don't have to lie to females because if she likes him enough, she will lie to herself. And baby, that is the realest shit I have ever motherfucking heard. We be delusional. That man don't want you. That man don't see no future with you. And here you are wasting your motherfucking time. What did Jenadiah, is that name Jenadiah? Girl, you know the man with the red hair. They came out and said that he done wasted plenty of women's baby making years. And to me, it seemed like the nigga was boasting. Because why would you probably say that on an interview? Like, I would be ashamed to even mention that. But he was not. So why would you allow somebody to take away the best years of you? Girl, stay single for as long as you can until you meet Mr. Right. Play around. Play these, these same reindeer games that these niggas be playing. And enjoy your damn life. Like, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't understand it. And I, I'm definitely here for women's empowerment. I'm a girl's girl or whatever. But at the same time, somebody needs to tell you motherfuckers to stand up. And if that's me, so be it. Stand the fuck up. Please. Please. It's, it's getting embarrassing out here. Stand up. I used a little bit of my Laura Mercier under my eyes. You know what? Also, baby, I need to tell y'all, stop having kids by these no good ass niggas, okay? If y'all don't learn from nobody else, you need to learn from my story. Look at me. Look, I have two fucking kids. They bad as shit. I be, I'm trying to all the way. I be trying to struggle for life. Stop having kids by these no good ass fucking niggas that ain't gonna take care of them, especially when you are gonna be the one to bear the responsibility. I never understood, and, and this is not me judging, this is me saying I really don't understand it. If this is your case, y'all know, we be over here talking. So if this is something that you went through or you're going through or that you're, you know, hey, let's talk about it. But I've never understood women who have a child by each and every man that they date. Like, what is that? Because fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice, bitch. You can't get fooled again. Okay? You can't get fooled again. Ain't that what George Bush said? I know that's not the real saying, but bitch, he made a lot of sense because, look, I got two. I got two. That nigga fooled me once, you know, with the twins. Bitch, I can't get fooled again? You think I'm about to lay down and have kids again? That's why I said it's like such a huge difference from people who are actually raising their children and from people who are not because people who are actually raising their children you know not to sit up and have another child just to have another kid, you know, because you know and you understand how hard it is having a fucking child. Like, I understand some, I'm using some of my bronzer, um, but I understand, I guess, like, well, I mean, I understand a little bit. It's still a little odd, but I kind of get it just like a little bit. The rich people that lay up and have uh, multiple children, because it's like you're rich, you know, you can get a nanny or whatever. It's still a little odd because you can't really provide for them the way that you should. Like, they're definitely missing out on one-on-one -on -one time or whatever. But I understand them having kids multiple, like, back-to-back -back or whatever. But if you're in a situation like me... I've been in a homeless shelter before. There were times I didn't know how the fuck I was going to feed my kids. There were times that I went fucking hungry so my kids could eat. Why the fuck would you bring more kids into this? And this is like, this is no judgment. This is not me judging you. I am really trying to understand the thought process behind that. Like, I know that I can barely do for the kids that I do have or the child that I do have. And I turn around and then to make this man happy or to see if I can keep this man, I go and try to start a family with him. I always tell people this, and this is something I'm never going to stop preaching. If you, even if I get married, if you are married or you are in a relationship and y'all decide to move in together, please do not go out here and get into a house or to an apartment or to a condo, whatever the fuck it is that you can't pay by yourself. For me, I just learned and this may just be on me like, girl, you a little bit too cautious. Maybe that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I've been let down by family. I've been let down by friends. I have... <clears throat> Do not get into situations. If you can't cover that rent by yourself, 
I would not suggest you going out here and moving in. Even if he say, I'm going to pay it. Girl, he could pass away tomorrow and you're left with the lease on your own. You know what I'm saying? Anything could possibly happen. He could lose his job. If you can't pay the rent by yourself, why are we staying in a house that costs $10,000 a month? I know, I get it. It's nice. It's fancy. It's fun. Um, but let's plan ahead just in case some shit pop off. And I always say that, like, if I ever move in with somebody, God, I don't know if I will because, baby, I'll be enjoying my space. <laughs> I enjoy my space. Plop off this wig, baby. Queen the Tifa braids. I be feeling good. But if I ever moved in with anybody, whether it be husband, boyfriend, anything of that the sort, I'm going to make sure roommate, whatever. I'm going to make sure that I can at least pay the rent by myself in the case that something happened. Like I said, these jobs are not guaranteed unless he's in business for himself. And even then, that could go under. I would say make sure that you can cover the rent for at least three months until he get back on his feet if he ever does. But anything could possibly happen. If you can't cover the rent of in, being in that house, we probably shouldn't move there. Just saying, we probably should not move there. I'm going to use a little bit of the lace under my eyes. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's a baking powder. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. But if you cannot, even if that man tells you, girl, I'm going to retire. You ain't never got to work. And I don't understand that neither. And again, it may be because I'm jaded because I've had too much shit happen to me. But I don't trust motherfuckers. You, you could be happy today and mad at me tomorrow. And the wisest thing I've ever heard somebody say is if you give a man or you give a woman the power to feed you, they got the power to starve you. And that, like I said, I have been in situations with my own fucking mother. If my mother didn't do shit else, that has taught me to never depend on nobody. And that's sad to say, but it is what it is. I've been in situations with her where she was the sole provider, told me, quit my job, I'll make sure I take care of you, girl, and left me high and dry while her ass got fucking mad at me. Never again. Never again. So even if that man told you, you ain't never got to work. You ain't never got to work. Baby, you better have some type of side hustle, YouTube. You better be some type of influencer. I don't give a fuck what, what it is that you do, but you still need to have some type of income rolling in. Even if it's for 10 years, I may have to take care of you for 10 years. And on the 11th year, he told you, you know what, bitch, I'm done with you. You need to have a stack because it don't make no sense. For 10 years, you sat on your ass and didn't do nothing. I am sorry. I'm sorry we're having a real motherfucking discussion. 10 years, you sat on your ass and didn't stack up shit. I don't be understanding that I'm not here to judge nobody. But as a woman... Especially if you got kids. Especially if you got motherfucking kids. If a man tells you he's going to do everything for you, and like I said, 10 years, 2 years, 3 years, whatever it is, and you ain't got no type of savings, and you depending on that man to take care of you, girl, stand the fuck up. Stand the ass up. I'm tired of y'all. Stand up. Stand up, okay? Make Get you some type of side hustle, bitch. Whatever it is, you need to have some type of income. I don't give a fuck if it's $300 a month. Have some type of income coming in just in motherfucking case. Even my girlies with joint bank accounts, this is a little bit of blush. Y'all know I love this blush. I always go in with this blush, whatever. Even my girlies with joint bank accounts. I'm not saying I don't have no joint bank account. But again, I done seen too much shit. You got that joint bank account, y'all break up. That nigga at the bank, same day. Same day he sent the text to break up, girl, and then withdrew everything and left you high and dry. Bitch, if you don't have, I don't give a fuck how in sync and how under the Lord you guys are. I'm pretty sure it's something in the Bible that say you're supposed to have a little bit of your own. I don't know. I'm going to try to find that scripture. But something in the Bible say it. And if it don't, it needs to be, okay? It, it needs to be in Stand the Fuck Up, Revelations 25, Chapter 11. Girl. You can have a joint bank account, y'all be in love. He, he, I, I, I love you. Same debit core, everything like that. But if you don't have something on the side, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is there today could be gone tomorrow. I'm not. I'm not planning to see the doubt in your head. I'm planning to see to be fucking smarter. Be wiser. Don't be out here high and dry. I was just. I was just looking at this page with this lady. She's. She's a damn uh sugar baby. What was I seeing, child? Where are you calling my name? Okay, like them folks can't live without me. Lord have mercy. Definitely good job security, but shit. <laughs> um, anyway, I was telling y'all about the girl who um was a gold digger. Well, she wasn't gold digger, she was a sugar baby. I think is there a difference? I don't think it really is, but whatever. She's a sugar baby. Oh, I need to put on my um my stuff. Hang on, let me put on some mascara. I can find it. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's fine. 
but she was sugar baby and she came out of the situation like I guess she had a baby and it altered the way her body looked or whatever and so the sugar daddy didn't like that and so he broke up with her because the baby altered her body which it does you know you on your stretch mark shit shit ain't gonna be right and tight titties gonna be sagging shit my, my shit's sagged okay so anyway he broke up with her and baby girl left with nothing like I just I I don't understand ma'am you didn't think that when he was buying you all these Birkins and stuff, like, I'm going to be a smart sugar baby. Like, while you buying these Bir Birkins, go ahead and deposit that damn 30000 into my bank account. Fuck the Birkin, bitch. We go to Ross. I can find a bag just like that at TJ Maxx or, you know what, on the gate. I can find that on the gate for real. On the fence. Them fence boys. Let me tell you. Y'all don't be doing it right, baby. You be trying to ride around in Porsches and shit, and this man ain't putting nothing in your bank account. Fuck all that. Okay, fuck the material things. I still like those, but still, every so often, baby, I need an allowance. You need to negotiate an allowance because he's paying for everything. Like, you don't have to pay for nothing. He's paying for everything. So, in the midst of him paying for everything, um, I'm going to still have me a little bit of a savings just in case this shit goes sour. But, no, y'all been putting that shit into BBLs and lipo and vehicles. Vehicles that don't be in y'all name. That is crazy. Let me, girl, I wish the fuck I might let a man buy me a car and he don't give me a goddamn title. That shit needs to be in my motherfucking name paid off, not leased, not rented. Buy the car outright and put it in my name. That is my vehicle. I wish I would have to give back the keys when, when shit is all said and done. Oh, hand me back my keys because that's my vehicle. Shit. Even on the houses. Like, y'all be tripping. Y'all mama ain't teach you nothing, baby. My house will be on the deed, okay? And the money that he gives me for an allowance, I would make sure that even after we stop talking, I could pay the taxes on that bitch. Like, y'all, think smart. Think smart. If your coochie is gold enough to get you a sugar daddy and you're not out here investing in yourself and making sure you straight after that shit goes left or he, you know, passes away, you're tripping okay and and what do i need you to do stand the fuck up okay guys let's go ahead and finish up i think we have done more than enough talking but yes babe if you don't get anything else from this video please stand up and make sure you got some money saved for yourself please please honey child google girl if you don't do nothing else make sure you got some money saved for yourself okay we're gonna go ahead and go into the lip shade protector no i'm not i'm lying I'm going to use my Sephora. Sephora molasses. Go ahead and line the lips. Then we're going to apply butterscotch. And I'm going to do a little bit of fortune cookie in the middle. I got to skate through this because I got to go. So let's go ahead and run it through. This is the molasses by Sephora. I have like a love-hate relationship with this. Like I love it and then I don't like it at the same time. So it's a love-hate relationship. Then we're going to go right into the butterscotch by NYX. For whatever reason, I feel like I get a better blend when i use the lip glosses nyx specifically their lip glosses instead of uh the lipstick it's just a personal preference it's not something that you guys to do okay and then i think i'm going to use i said i was going to use fortune cookie which is what i normally do but since we got like a little bit of pink going on i'm going to use the shade um eclair right here yeah Right there. Alright guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts on today's topics. Girl, if you don't take nothing else from this video, make sure that you guys take having your own shit and standing the fuck up. Nothing wrong with that, okay? You know what? I absolutely love my little lip combo today, which I didn't think I was because y'all know I'm kind of iffy about my nudes and stuff. But I love that pink and I like the fact that it was so simple. We didn't have to do a whole bunch of steps to get it. And it's just, it, it looks good. And the the um, inner corner highlight, I like it, you know. I think it gives like a more of a, you know, a little hint of color to the eyes and just kind of makes them pop a little bit. As y'all can see, I got my little shoulder meat out. I got the girls out too, but you can't really see that. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my dating life if I decide to get back into dating, which I probably will. You know, it's just, jeez, it takes a lot of energy. But anyway, this is it. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.